Basically guys, I need to clean up. Look at this. Got stuff everywhere. Boxes. Finally got my bed together. About to get that good. Clothes. What's up? Got some Gucci Daddy shorts on. Four days down here. Look at this. Look at this. So yeah, basically when I went home, shout out to my sister. Appreciate her for you know hooking me up, hooking me up with some stuff for my guest bathroom. I just want to show y'all this because I know a lot of times YouTubers and stuff be acting like we got it all put together and you know we clean and stuff but yeah we I'm, I'm a neat type of guy but my place get unorganized too sometimes excuse me but it ain't always perfect whenever i'm in here i try to keep it tidy but as y'all can see right now and even some of y'all might be like it ain't that bad right now but to me this is my version of a junky home unclean home so um right now i have to go to home depot because for my blinds for my room, I got them cut, but I didn't get them cut short enough. So I got to go to Home Depot, cut them again. And actually, I'm about to go up here to make sure I got my measures, measurements right this time because I ain't trying to go to Home Depot once again. I have a large window right here, 72, about 70 inches, 72. I end up getting um, 72 um, inch blinds i got them cut down to 71 that did not fit still a little too wide so i'm about to get them cut down to 70 when i go back to home depot um but i'm about to check just in case because i don't like i said i don't want to go to home depot i have to do all this over again bad thing is always trying to find someone to cut these things nobody be in this area it's empty yes sir so as y'all can see it fits now i'm about to go ahead and get them put up um, y'all probably watched my other vlog where I put them up in the bathroom, so no need for me to show y'all me putting them up in the room. It's the same process. I'm hoping they don't take that long, but go ahead and watch my last vlog. Well, not the last vlog. It's, it's one of the two vlogs that's before this one. All right, guys, got the blinds up now. Now I'm about to put my projector up. Well, this is the bad boy. Put a towel down here because it's probably going to be a little bit of dust. I have some technical difficulties right now. I don't think the hole is big enough. And my drill that I used, or that I have, I don't think it's doing a big enough hole. So I'm going to try something else. Here now, I need to see how the projector looks. As 
as you can see, the weight of the projector is still causing it to come out the wall a little bit. So, I have to redo this. We up. We up, baby. And my family needs bread. I had to come correct. It's kind of light in here right now, so y'all can't see it, but. There you go. Here's the aftermath. But it's up. It's 32, not coming down. Good. All I gotta do is hide those wires really quick. And that's gonna take me no time. So let me do that real quick and I'll show y'all the finished product. And there we have it. There we have it. I would highly recommend, if y'all think about having a TV or something in your room, purchase a little cheap projector, mount it yourself, you get to me, it's better quality than having a TV in your room, honestly, because this projector, it was on sale last year for like $89, $90, good quality. And then I just bought the mount from Amazon. That was like $20. And boom, there you go. Now, granted, you probably can get a TV mounted on the wall. But if you lay in the bed, you know, you might want to have a little movie night to yourself or with your shorty or something. Y'all lay in the bed, pop some popcorn or something, you know. Nice vibes. Y'all might want to check it out. Now I can put my tools up, get my bed back right, clean up in here, and then go across the hall over there, clean up in there. As y'all can see, I have a lot to do. But we getting it. We, we slowly but surely getting it done. <laughs> Basically what I'm about to do is clean up all these boxes, get rid of them, chop them up. Um, I have a recycling bin coming over as well. I don't have, a, I just have a regular old sanitation bin right now, trash bin, but um, they're supposed to be bringing me a recycling bin. So that way I can go ahead and put my boxes in there. Don't have to worry about nothing. And then I'm gonna clean up this office area a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that'd be about it. I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch me clean up all this stuff. So I'm going to end the vlog here. But before I end, I want to say this. Make sure if you have a home, apartment, wherever, try doing things yourself first. Don't think about calling somebody. Don't Unless it's something electrical or air conditioning or something like that. But if you can hang up your blinds, if you could hang up your paintings, if you could mount stuff and things like that. Try doing it yourself. You never know. You might be surprised. That's how I really learned how to do all the stuff that I be doing in my house. I just learned by trial and error. Just by doing things myself, I've learned throughout the years, you know. It all just don't come overnight. You just have to keep doing and going and going and going. Over time, you will find yourself being a little more handy than you think you are, you know. I know I used to watch my dad do certain things around the house or do things about, do things with his car and stuff. So I kind of know a little bit about certain things. But you got to take a jab at it yourself to see if you can do it. And you never know. You might surprise yourself and you can save you some money because those labor costs, those labor costs, especially when you got a home. Shoot, I'm at, I'd rather try it myself. And then if I don't know how to do it, I'm going to call somebody and they can patch up my mistakes. It might be a little bit more if they got to patch up something. But hey, I try. But it also feels good. It feels good when you can accomplish something by yourself on your own. Like mounting that uh, projector today, even though it sounds small. I felt accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Getting the last set of blinds up. I felt accomplished. Those small wins kind of help you better your day, help you better your week. Always aim for small wins. That way at the end of the week, you can look back and say this whole week was a win. Don't always just look for big wins. Celebrate small wins. And that will keep you happy, guys. Some people be asking me, how you stay happy? How you stay motivated? How you stay positive? I celebrate small wins. Small wins, you know what I'm saying? Looking for big wins all the time ain't gonna do you well. But other than that, man, I just wanna leave y'all with that tidbit, you know? Um, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section if you haven't already. It helps your boy out. We're trying to get to 100K by the end of this year. I think we at about 83,000, maybe 84,000 by now. I'm not 100% certain, but Help your boy. Share the channel with your friends. Share the channel with your parents. It helps your boy out. And like I said, if you comment in the comment section, it helps your boy out. I also will be starting to do 
comment highlights in my videos. So if I see a comment that I really, really like or just see somebody commenting a lot, I'll give them a shout out in the video as well. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And I'll catch y'all in this video. Peace. Seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap. You can make change, don't change for that. Tell the whole truth, get paid for that. Bet you never fall off, you was made for that. You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside.